process of creating energy within the furnace or fireplace of a cell, occasionally a charged oxygen molecule called a free radical is created. A free radical is an oxygen molecule that has at least one unpaired electron in its outer orbit. This literally gives the molecule an electrical charge which creates very rapid movement as it tries to find an electron from the tissue around it. If it is not readily neutralized by an antioxidant, it can go on to damage the cell wall, vessel wall, proteins, fats, and yes, even the DNA nucleus of the cell. There are a certain number of free radicals produced when you simply metabolize your food each day. However, there are many things that actually increase the number of free radicals you produce. These are excessive stress, excessive exercise, pollutants in our air, food, and water, sunlight, radiation, medication, and cigarette smoke. Because of our stressful lifestyles, our polluted environment, and over-medicated societies, this generation must contend with more free radicals than any previous generation. When you produce more free radicals than you can manage, you create what is known as oxidative stress. Oxygen is essential for life itself. However, it is also inherently dangerous for our existence. The same process that causes a cut apple to turn brown or rust metal also causes your body to rust inside. This process of oxidative stress is the underlying cause of the overwhelming majority of chronic degenerative diseases. Oxidative stress is literally the dark side of oxygen. However, we are not defenseless against this process. Antioxidants have the ability to neutralize a free radical. Balance is the key. You want to have enough antioxidants available to handle the number of free radicals you produce. Then you are able to prevent oxidative stress from occurring. There are three main ways to get antioxidants our body needs. First, our bodies actually have the ability to make some of their own antioxidants. Second, we are able to get additional antioxidants from the foods we eat, especially from our fruits and vegetables. This is why you see the recommendation that you should be consuming six to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables each and every day. The last, however, and more recent source available to us today is nutritional supplementation. We are now able to get optimal levels of antioxidants by supplementing a healthy diet. Remember, it is all about balance. To avoid oxidative stress, we want to have enough antioxidants to handle the number of free radicals you're producing. There is solid evidence that our food supply is depleted in nutrients. Because of our depleted soils, green harvesting, cold storage, processing, and food preparation methods, our foods have a significant decrease in nutritional value. This is certainly true of the micronutrients, especially the antioxidants. The decreased nutritional value of food alone is a good reason to supplement our diets. However, in the next medical minute, I will explain what I believe is the main reason we need to supplement.